This is Journey to Fluency. We're hitting our third month update. There's a lot of new information I'm really pumped to share with you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. For those of you who haven't been following, recap. I am utilizing a Japanese book series called Japanese from Zero. Book one taught me hiragana and book two taught me katakana. And those two together gave me a pretty good beginner foundation. In the last video, I mentioned that reading hiragana and katakana took me a while to understand what was actually being said. Throughout the third month of studying Japanese, I really have become more familiar. Reading hiragana, reading katakana is a lot easier and more natural. That is a byproduct of getting better, making progress. So it's been really fun. Let's move in to what I did for the third month. And I did a lot. There's so many things that happened. I can only share a few of the chapters. Ultimately, the whole book, book three, really every chapter was very helpful. And I went through the book a couple of times it was probably by far the best month in terms of growth chapter three basically it taught changing the verbs to the te and ta forms the do it form like a command another conjugation on top of what i've already learned it was really hard to remember how to conjugate it george trombley incorporated a really cool tool to memorize it yeah i'm gonna hit like a hit single right now platinum record make my own cover whatnot <laughs> you guys ready are the forms. The cringe is real. Thank you guys for bearing with me on that. Right here. I lost all my dignity. But this was actually very helpful. It was a very definitive moment in my third month of study. Okay, back to the video. Every verb ends in the u form. The verb nomu has the mu ending. So it would be de ah nde is what I put at the end. So if I want to say drink, then I would say nonde. Chapter three in a nutshell. Chapter four. I learned the verb omo. If I want to say, oh, I think it's good. I da to omoimasu. I da to omo. Informal verb. It's shorter. So chapter five had another verb conjugation form, the present state of being verb form. What are you doing? Oh, I'm eating. That ing is what we're talking about here. So in chapter five, the way to say it in Japanese is teiru. What are you doing? Oh, I'm eating. Oh, tabeteiru. Very simple, but very helpful because a lot of times when you're having a conversation, you're not saying, oh, I drink. Oh, I eat. Oh, I run. You would say, oh, I'm running. What are you doing right now? Oh, I'm reading. And before I would just say, oh, yomu, to read. That doesn't sound good. So now I can say yondeiru, I'm reading. The last chapter, very helpful actually, is chapter nine. And you know I'm sitting down on the couch and I'm saying, this is a wall. The wall is white. The wall is not green. <laughs> In my brain, I'm trying to translate what I'm doing with all of the knowledge that I've acquired from studying Japanese and chapter nine helped me in terms of saying things that I wanted to say. For example, I want to eat eggs. Now I can. It's the Thai verb form. Tamago tabetai. Tabetai. Chapter nine was another step in the right direction I felt like for me. One thing about book three is book three taught me 80 different kanji. Very basic kanji. You have to go through the stroke order. You get to know the meanings and everything. So you learn these kanji. Kanji is interesting. Kanji is difficult. That was pretty much it for book three. The content in book three, remember, everything went really well. And the reason for that is because book one and two gave me that foundation. Book three was a bit different. I dove into some pretty difficult grammar. Again, George Trombley mentioned that book three would be anting up the level. You're getting into Japanese now. I definitely am at a different point in my journey. That is good. Every month I want to feel as if I've made progress. If I don't, perhaps I might be doing something wrong or I may not be investing as much as I need to be. I've just been really feeling great and passionate and my fire has not dwindled in any way. However, utilizing a grammar book for three months at two hours a day, it's not the most fun form of studying a language. You want to have fun learning a language. You want to enjoy that journey. If you're not enjoying the journey to learning a language, whatever level you want to learn it at, try and find a way to enjoy it because you should have fun. So only really going through a grammar book has not been the most fun. And that's not a, that's not a blow to George Trombley. His book is amazing. His work is really good and I'm really grateful. In terms of how I learn, I think I might try and find another form of 
studying Japanese on top of utilizing his book, book four and book five. They are great, I'm sure. I don't know if I have the passion to continue a grammar book. You know, in the beginning, I told myself I'm not going to spend time learning how to study a language. I'm going to dive in and figure it out. And now I've had three months to figure it out. I think I, I'm noticing that I do need to find another form of study. I don't want to spend 10 years to get to a conversational level. I want to spend three to five years to get to a very high level of fluency. I think everyone has the common sense to know that at this rate, two hours a day, going through only a grammar book, I, I may not reach my goal in the time frame that I would like. The time I put in for the third month of study, again, guys, really nothing changed. So I went through the grammar book, George Chomley's JFZ videos, and I listened to Japanese music. Overall, I spent two hours a day, and there are 30 days in the month of January, so I spent 60 hours this month studying Japanese, and now I'm at a total of 182 hours spent learning Japanese. I've invested quite a bit of time, and it's almost as if I feel I need to invest more time. And I think that might be why I'm changing my study method or looking into finding something a little different. Who knows? Month three has been a blast. I am enjoying my journey to fluency in the Japanese language. It's a beautiful language. It's really fun to learn. If you're on your own journey in learning a language, I hope it's going really well for you. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate your time. It is valuable. If you haven't already, again, subscribe down below and I will see you in the fourth month update.